Well, you know what? Forget the Xbox and the PlayStation. Good old board games are enjoying a surge in popularity. And some folks would say they've never gone anywhere. They've always been popular and they have really changed. And uh, you know what? One company that has lived through all the change 40 years is Games by James. And there's a big anniversary event at the Mall of America today. And we have Logan and Glenn McKee, father, son, and they're here with the scoop. How are you doing? We're doing great. So. Good to, good to meet both of you. Thanks so you, you owned the first franchise uh, 40 years ago, and 40 years later you still have, what well, now you have seven? That's uh, almost true. And the other <laughs> the other uh, franchises are all gone, so it's just it's just us. It's just you. It's just us. A family business was uh, Ma and Pa, and then Pa and Ma, <laughs> me, and then uh, now it's kind of Grandpa and the Son. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's great, and it's, I'm actually retiring. Logan just bought the company from me. Congratulations! Thank you. Congratulations. And, uh, you know, we're proud of keeping things together this no, long. No, so, absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. tell tell me what your um, impression of the evolution of board games has been in the 40 years you've been involved. Sure. So the basics are, you know, still the same. The the idea is that you're getting together with your family or friends. You're sitting around the table. You're interacting among each other. And sometimes, most of the time, it's just for fun. You know, it's just you're, you're playing for the laughs. And uh, sometimes people are more interested in strategy, so that's a little different situation. But it crosses all generations. Uh, us old people like to play it too, and uh, the young people. And for kids, what a great way to learn uh, strategy and uh, basic thinking skills and social yep. skills. So, yep. Yeah. And there's also the whole thing of being truthful and not cheating and those kind of things. And also being a good loser. If you end up being the loser of the game, you can't just walk away from the table. Yeah. I mean, those kind of things have happened I'm before. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let, uh, let's talk about the event today. The event yeah. today is going to be phenomenal at the Mall of America, right in the main rotunda. People playing games. And if you're there today, you can just walk up and, and maybe try a new game. That's correct. <clears throat> we have... 20 or so vendors there that will be demoing their games. They are, uh, most of them are local. So you'll be able to meet uh, creators of the games and um, they'll teach you the games and we're giving away a lot of games. Uh, from nine uh, till 10, we're doing a sensory friendly hour for um, autism. Uh, Aut <coughs> autism Society of Minnesota will be there today and we're actually raising money for them. All of our, 40% uh, of our sales in the rotunda will be donated to Awesome. And um, that's nice. Thank you yeah. for doing that. That's wonderful. Yeah, I, we're happy to partner with them. We've yeah. done jigsaw puzzle contests with them in the past. So I've seen that. Yeah. And then the 40 past the hour, you're going to be giving away games. That's cool that yes. you have a lot of local game makers because there are a lot of local game makers. Talk there a little are. bit about what you, uh, what you brought here today. <clears throat> sure. Um, these are great examples of how the progression of board games, actually. You know, people think Mo uh, Monopoly is a stereotypical board game. Well, now, <clears throat> people that are playing games, Catan is a new Monopoly. Uh, the difference is this is uh, a lighter strategy game where everybody's competing, but you're not attacking each other constantly throughout the game. There's uh, a finish line where everybody is working uh, together at some point, but only one winner in the end, and there's no elimination. Um, so it's games like this that are why we really see a resurgence of uh, interest in board games. They're just better board games nowadays. Wonderful. So this one, Bosque? Uh, this is a local uh, manufacturer and uh, they will be at the event. They had a huge hit last year. We're thinking this is going to be one of the top games this, this, oh, ho okay. this holiday season for us. That's and, perfect. Uh, this is a local puzzle manufacturer, Puzzle Twist. They use local artists and local photographers and they will be there as well. Uh, Turning Tumble is another local company. Uh, this is not a new game, but it is definitely a unique game where uh, kids will play it and actually learn um, computer coding skills and not even oh, realize it at the time. They're just, they're just solving puzzles. Yeah. Well, happy anniversary, 40 yeah. years. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, I just want to say we're particularly proud of this one, which we developed ourselves. It's all uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul related version of Monopoly. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. What a great gift idea. And what yeah. a great day to play games yeah. with this weather. <laughs> Let's go inside oh. the mall and uh, check this out. Again, you can join all the fun at the Mall of America today. It started, uh, in fact, until 8 o'clock tonight. It's starting right at 9 a.m. And we have a link to learn more on carol11.com. Congratulations to both of you. Thank yeah. you very much. Um,